Hi, WordPress users. Security of a WordPress from hackers is the biggest concern of any website owner. In today's video, you will learn how to add an extra layer of security to your WordPress site that makes it nearly impossible for hackers to break in, even if they steal your password. In this video, we will explain how to configure email and SMS OTP options, set up Twilio for SMS delivery, register user phone numbers, test the complete login flow, and most importantly, the simple plugin that provides the extra layer of security. Let's get started. You need our premium plugin called 2FA OTP Login Plugin, adds an extra layer of security to your WordPress login page. Instead of just entering a username and password, users will also need to enter a one-time password, or OTP, that's sent to their email or phone. This means even if someone gets hold of a password, they still can't log in without access to the user's email or phone. It's a simple but powerful security feature that's becoming standard for protecting online accounts. The plugin supports two methods. One, email. OTP sends a code to the user's registered email address. Two, SMS OTP sends a code via text message using Twilio. You can enable one or both methods giving your users flexibility while maintaining security. Now, let's install the plugin. First, log into your WordPress admin dashboard. Navigate to Plugins, then click Add New. Click Upload Plugin at the top, then Choose File to select the plugin zip file from your computer. Once selected, click Install Now. Great! The plugin has been installed. Now click Activate Plugin to activate it. Perfect! The plugin is now active and ready to configure. Now that it's installed, you'll see a new menu item under Settings called WPPFU OTP Login. Let's click on that to configure it. Welcome to the Plugin Settings page. This is where all the magic happens. Let's start with the basic configuration. Step 1. Enable OTP methods. First, you need to decide which OTP methods you want to enable. You'll see two checkboxes for sending OTP by either email or via SMS. You can enable one or both methods. For this demonstration, I'll enable both to show you how each works. After enabling methods of sending OTP, configure OTP settings. Scroll down a bit to see the OTP settings section. Here you can customize the OTP expiry period and OTP length. The default expiry period is set to 10 minutes which is a good balance between security and usability. You can adjust this from 1 to 60 minutes. The second OTP setting is the length of the OTP. The default is set for 6 digits, which is standard. You can set it anywhere from 4 to 10 digits, but I recommend keeping it at 6 for the best balance. For now, we'll leave these at their defaults. You can always change them later based on your needs. Now, if you're only using email OTP, you can save these settings and you're done with the basic setup. But if you want to use SMS OTP, we need to configure Twilio. Let me show you how to do that. To send SMS messages, the plugin uses Twilio, which is a reliable SMS service provider. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Twilio. I'll walk you through the entire setup process. Step 1. Create a Twilio account. First, you need a Twilio account. Go to Twilio.com in a new tab. Click Sign Up or Get Started. Twilio offers a free trial that includes credits to get you started, so you can test everything without spending money. Fill in your details, email, password, and phone number for verification. Complete the sign up process, which includes verifying your email and phone number. Step 2. Get your Twilio credentials. Once you're logged in, you'll see the Twilio console dashboard. You'll see your account SID and auth token. These are your credentials. Here's your account SID. Copy this. It's safe to show on screen as it's not sensitive by itself. And here's your auth token. Click the eye icon to reveal it, then copy it. Keep this secure. Treat it like a password. Next, paste your auth token. Notice this field is a password field, so it's hidden for security. Now, you need a phone number to send SMS from. Click on Phone Numbers in the left menu then Manage, then Active Numbers. The free trial includes one phone number so you can get started immediately. Finally, enter your Twilio phone number with the country code. Perfect. Now click Save Settings at the bottom. Great! 
Your Twilio configuration is complete. The plugin is now ready to send SMS OTP codes. Now, here's an important step that users need to complete. Registering their phone numbers. For SMS OTP to work, each user needs to add their phone number to their WordPress profile. Let me show you how. As an admin, go to Users, then click on Your Profile. Scroll down until you see the OTP Login Settings section. Here you'll see a field for phone number. Enter your phone number in international format. That means starting with a plus sign, followed by your country code, then your phone number. Make sure to include the country code. This is crucial for the SMS to be delivered correctly. Once you've entered it, click Update Profile at the bottom. It's important to communicate this to your users. Send them an email or create a help document explaining that they need to add their phone number to receive SMS OTP codes. Now that we have everything configured, let's test it. All right, the moment of truth, let's test the complete login flow with OTP verification. Test one, email OTP. First, let's test email OTP. I'll log out and go to the login page. Enter my username and password as usual. Let's try email first. Click send OTP via email. You'll see a message saying sending and then OTP sent to your email. Please check your inbox. Back on the login page, I'll enter this OTP code in the field. Now I can click log in and I should be logged in successfully. Test two, SMS, OTP. Now let's test SMS OTP. I'll log out again and go through the same process. Enter credentials again. This time, click Send OTP via SMS. You'll see Sending and then OTP sent to your phone. Please check your messages. Let me check my phone. There it is. I received a text message with my OTP code. Let me enter it. Click Login. Perfect. Both email and SMS OTP are working correctly. And that's it. You now have perfect security for users' login by fully validating through two-factor authentication. Thanks for watching and stay secure.